Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to the two-week Princess Auto sale flyer. Uh, we missed the last one. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to let things go for a bit, and then we uh, maybe get some newer items this time, because I don't think they seem to keep putting the same things on sale all the time. But anyways, uh, this one I wanted to do because it was almost, it's like 98 pages. Like, it's more than a flyer. This is like, like getting into a big sale here, apparently. Like, they put a lot of stuff into this sale. Anyway, so, yes, September 13th to the 25th of 2022. So here we go. Look at this stand-up heater. I guess it's propane. Uh, doesn't really say. Kind of neat for 140 bucks. That looks like about a 20-pound propane cylinder size there. So uh, let's see here. Specifications. Yeah, regular hose wheels. So, I, yeah. Uh, 41,000 B2 standing patio heater. Doesn't actually say propane. Propane or gas or butane gas. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's not too bad for 140 bucks if you're outside, you know, picnic table, whatever. I know a lot of the restaurants around here seem to use them now for, uh, you know, fall time, early spring and stuff. If people want to sit on the patio, they crank these up. and At least they could, uh, you know, sort of eat in. You'd be warm from the top. Top, not the bottom, but anyways. Uh, submersible trailer light kit, not too bad. Well, that's kind of a neat looking 8,000 lumen panel light. Three foot pry bar, nice. Pet, max complete, max life upright vacuum. Really interesting. Hoover. Nice little tote there. Actually, I need to get a different tote in my ones I put on my straps and I don't know all these things broke off the box itself is I think is fine but it's not durable enough gantry crane holy cow they're selling heavy duty trailer travel trailer covers wow that's pretty treat it's pretty cheap 18 to 20 foot a little multi ladder or multi task ladder they used to call these a jaws ladder if you look that up you'll see the same sort of thing pretty handy you can do different angles with them and these things unfold and you can you know stretch some more of an a-frame out or you can stretch it right out and have a full length long ladder pretty handy nice little welding table Ooh, hey that's nice oh wow they got the parts cleaner on sorry brake cleaner on sale again i'm gonna go down the sale just for that two dollars and 88 cents and that's a pretty good size can it's 300 and 90 grams, it looks like. Uh, let's open that up here. Oh, it's a different picture, of course. 390 grams, and it looks like 13 point, maybe 8 ounces or so, something like that. That's not too bad. WD-40, too, and the big spray, and you get a sprayer thing, too. That's all right. Wow, yeah, I'm going to go stock up on this, because you know what? This stuff, not necessarily this stuff, but like the brake cleaner in general, we'll say here, say at... Um, TSC, I still call it, but they're actually called PV Mart now. But the TSC, they uh, they're about nine dollars, nine fifty a can, roughly. So I mean, this is a pretty good deal. Like the cans, probably worth more than two to eight. But anyways, I'm gonna go down, stock up on that probably. Mm, some ad stuff, ad stuff. Ooh, Mega Smasher. Hey, that's pretty good toolbox. Big drawer too, I guess. Little cabinets and stuff, power fist. I wonder how, how nice the drawers are sliding in and out. Dual pulley lift, nice. Heavy duty two shelf plastic service cart. Well, there you go. There's a metal service cart. Wow, there's the whole shebang. Well, thirteen hundred bucks. Powder coated steel. That's actually pretty good. Two cabinets. Guess these bolt to these ones somehow. Maybe bolt in the middle and then. They probably all bolt together, I would imagine. Hey, there's a nicer looking tote. 85 liter container storage. I do need a certain size. If they had more of these, like in those Pelican cases, those would be nice. 119 bucks. Heavy duty cargo storage case. Hey, that might not be too bad for straps and stuff either. A little more beefy looking. Kind of like these clippy things, maybe better. These things, I don't know, sometimes they're not so good either, but. I'll see what they got. I need a fair good size on like, you know, quite a few straps and chains and stuff. Ooh. Oh, it's the whole set. I was gonna say I need one of these kind of things for in the shop there, but creepers and paper 
metallical chemical holder. Oh, okay. Round roof roof shelter. Hey, that's kind of cool. These things probably still don't last too long. And, you know, once the sun rots through one of these or it tears and rips open, I mean, really, what good is it then? You can't really use, like, a tarp over this because, you know, I guess you could. You could cut it again and put the, you know, whatever on it. But, I don't know, they just don't seem to last in the sun. These carts here, oh, man, I looked at one of these once. It was already bent. <laughs> I'm like, these things are just garbage. Right in here, this is for, like, going upstairs. So this would hit the stair tread thing and then kind of roll up to the next one, roll up to the next one. While these little triangle things all bend up really to this thin, chintzy. Come on, Princess Auto, fix your stuff, man. That's, that's a bit chintzy, that cart. Looks good here, but man, oh, man. When you see one bent in the store, that's probably not good. Moving blankets. Man, they sure are selling different, all kinds of different ones of these. Colors and sizes and thicknesses and prices, of course. Ah, uh, 500 lumen motion light. That's all right. Rechargeable work lights. Little stool thingies. Actually, one of these would be... Well, no, I need more of a stool stool. Work clothing. Safety high-vis stuff. Muskoka dinner jacket, we call these. So this is like a plaid, but up in Muskoka, everybody wears one of these, especially in the fall time when it's cold out, right? So dinner jacket. Full face respirator. It's all right. Coveralls. Oh, there's more fifth wheel trailer covers. Wow. That's neat. It has a thing for the door, too. If your door is in the same spot as that thing. There's all the... Hey, that's a good idea. Roof vent covers. I should actually... Oh, they have these, too. Man, these things are so expensive. For this stupid little piece of plastic that if you don't spray it with something, only lasts for like a year. I got new ones because my old ones... Had rotted out of my trailer, so I got new ones. They lasted a year. I'm, I seen one laying on the ground the next year. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'm like, what the heck? That thing's ripped off and broken and disintegrated already. So I went and got two new ones again. I think I paid about this price for them. And I sprayed them with, like, a plastic paint stuff. And so far, so good. I haven't really looked at them too close, but so far, so good. Uh, that's pretty handy, too, the blowout plug. I've... God, that's an awful small hole there, though, for letting the air in. But I just have one I made up, basically. One of these and then into one of those. And uh, blow the trailer out instead of putting that stupid pink stuff in it. I, I don't know. I don't think that stuff's good for you. You know, you got to run the water through everything again in the springtime. And then you got all this pink crap smells like funny stuff. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, there's another one there, too. Blow out. Maybe I should... Uh, well, no, I just use one I got. Hey, that's kind of cool. Tandem axle stabilizers. Hmm. Brake parts and axle stubs. Chalk. Wheel chalk. Springs and axles, of course. Fenders. Jacks. Couldn't go without having jack. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You put your dirt bike on there or a motorcycle or something. Ooh, look at these nice-looking things. That looks like a rendered picture or something. It doesn't look like an actual, the actual thing, or this kind of looks like the actual thing. Flagpole holder. Hey, that's kind of a cool idea, actually. I probably actually could do that myself. I could build one of those. I've got, I just don't have the flag, but that's kind of neat. Except you'd probably get in trouble in here for having this mounted in there because, you know, someone could hit the back of your car and you're not actually pulling a trailer. Bunch of different ball mount things and stuff. Wiring for your trailer. Plug thingies for your trailer. Connectors. Very nice. Pigtails and stuff. Some lights. And of course some tires. Need to do my trailer tires soon. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take them off and take them to... Um, my tire guy and get him to put some new ones on. I have to do kind of a side at a time, though, right? Jack the one side up, get those two off, and go get new tires on. I don't really want to jack the whole thing up on stands. Don't really want to drag the thing to his place, either, because that's kind of a lot of work, too. But, as far as, far as we're going with it, I don't know if these... I could probably just go get these and rims. Yeah. Sixty nine ninety nine. dollars Come on, that can't be a very good tire. It's a Carlisle tire, though, but... I can't remember what size mine are now. 
another 15s. That's a 12 inch. Oh, that's why it's so cheap. It looks like a big tire. What was this one up here? 14s. And they're 129. I think I looked at them before. They're about 170, 180 bucks when I looked at them. Not quite the right one. But, anyways. Ooh, air guns. Brick barrel pellet rifle. Hey. Dylan and I have been kind of into that a little bit. Bolt action pellet pistol. I've got, I had one like this actually. That's right from years ago. And something broke inside it. So I kind of took it apart. I'm like, oh, I don't think I can fix this. I needed parts. So I'm like, eh. Then I think I got one of these where this thing goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And I think it still works. And it's 22. Yeah, it's 22 caliber. I should see if I can get that out. You can try that one too. One seven so forty bucks. Brick barrel pellet rifle. We should get one of these just to try it. See how good it is. Forty bucks. Oh man, maybe that'd be a good video. Little steel cooking thing. That's kind of kind of cool, actually. Hmm. Little cooking utensily things. Little trailers. Wagon trailers. Wheel barrels. We're on page 20 of, I think, well, yeah, there's like 97 pages. So we're going to be here in a minute. Some shovels and equipment that way. Forks and stuff. Some brooms, some rakes. Meat cutters and stuffers. That's a neat little table, too, actually. 36, so three foot by two foot. Expensive enough. Oh, wow. Meat saw. Bandsaw. I wonder if you could cut wood on that, too. <laughs> we're cutting wood today on the meat saw. Vent fans and the evaporative cool air cooler. Oh, cool. Takes the moisture out, I guess. Neat. It's right from cooling stuff to heat stuff. <laughs> oh, man. More fans. Vent fans. More vent fans. Water pumps. More water pumps. Little rocking chairs. 70 bucks. 80 bucks for a rocking chair. Mop bucket and ringer combo. There you go. Thread lockers. Man, they're just jumping from ship to ship here, aren't they? Black silicone. This stuff works really good. Man, it sticks down. It's, as you guys, if you watch my, uh, trying to get the oil pan off that uh, 800 Ford, holy smokes, that <laughs> was stuck on when I had put it on. It wasn't coming off. It wasn't leaking, that's for sure. Some anti seize. I got some of this copper stuff, and I got regular stuff, I think, too. And then I've got this other stuff that's like a nickel base. It's pretty good stuff, too. Whole bunch of silicones. We're not going to really look at them too close. Oh, there's that car lift I want so bad, but no, I can't. 9,000 pound. That may be fine for my wife's car, but I think that might struggle a little bit with my truck. I don't know what it weighs. I don't think it would be 9,000 pounds, but I don't know. I don't know. Some more jacks. Bottle jacks, floor jacks. That's um, probably for like an engine crane. Vehicle ramps. Hey, that's kind of cool. Why would you want them to come apart though? Hmm. Pulling stuff, surplus, or sorry, mega smasher. Pulley removal and installer. Pulley remover and installer. Man, I gotta slow down my speaking. Three half inch to three inch bearing separator. Bowl joint service kit. I got one of these actually for uh, squeezing the brake calipers back in. You can use it for ones that you have to twist in and ones that you just regularly push in rather than using the big pliers. Oil drain. Oh man, 64 liter. I really should get myself one of those. You know that? Air operated oil changer. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Nah, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I really should get myself one of these for when I'm doing the truck. I want to maybe look at one anyway, so I'm going to take a picture. Just for when I'm doing my truck, it's like, oh man, it's such a, it's like 12 or 12 and a half liters that's got a pro. Well, that's a fairly big bucket you need. Well, this thing holds 64. looks like it's got a little pump too to pump it back out. So that's, that's pretty handy. You can slide that under and then it's got a little handle and stuff and I don't know how well this will roll on like my my uh, gravel outside there, but if I have it on like a piece of plywood or something, I'm sure it'll be fine. But eh, maybe think of maybe picking one of those 199 bucks, and maybe we'll see. Some paint and stuff looks like battery stuff, 
booster packs. Booster. What else do we got here? Charging cables, inspection cameras. Ooh, it's got towels. Microfiber cleaning cloths. Ooh, one of those landscape rags. That's kind of cool. 400 bucks. That'd be good for uh, going through my garden and pulling out the junk, but, you know, for all I would use it, I don't know if that would work. I don't really need that, I don't think. Category one quick hitch, nice. Oh, these things that I have in my box too, these little chain ratcheting things are pretty handy. So that uh, box, it's kind of got smushed and these things are pretty heavy, kind of probably didn't help it too much, but got some cable and some chain and some ropes and some gorilla tape. This stuff's actually really thick stuff. It's pretty good. Regular duct tape. Oh, I thought that was an int, uh, ultrasonic cleaner, but it's a heated water dish thing. <laughs> okay. 600 bucks must be a big one there's some big uh, stock tanks for water in your moo cows some casters and stuff Ooh, the cool little kits I like there's a uh, our clips or we call them clevis pin clips or something too a bunch of different lock nuts and stuff fence zapping stuff man this is a big flyer we're only on page uh, well animal traps we're on page 38 <laughs> Power cords. That's all right. Ooh, nice big power bar. Twenty one ninety nine. That's pretty good. Brush on electrical tape. This stuff's pretty good until it's the stuff. Whatever's in it, mineral spirits, whatever's in it, seems to dry out and then it kind of goes thick and then it's kind of no good. I mean, it is pretty good though. It does work pretty good when it's you know fresh stuff. Gas pump stuff. Always expensive, of course, even on sale. Solid state posi flow fuel pump. Huh. Cool. There's your dual fuel things or oil, whatever. I guess you can put chain oil in there too. Gas on this side. Diesel hole hose reel. Pretty nice looking seats. Ingersoll Rand. Air hammer bit. Air tool oil. Some air tool stuff here. There's the torque bars again. Ooh, big feller. I wonder what that needs for for air. Delivers 200 to 1,500 foot-pounds. Holy. Pressure rating 90 to 115 PSI. It doesn't say how much volume it needs. So, Oh, here we go. Full load CFM, 60 CFM cubic foot per minute. Holy smokes, that's pretty big. Those things are, they got, they're pretty nice though. <laughs> they're pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. They're big truck tires and stuff, right? Truck rims. Lots of torque. Wow, there's an extra long shank air hammer chisel, air hammer chisel set. That's pretty cool. 18 inch long, wow. Don't know what you're chiseling, that's far away from your gun, but okay. Air compressor stuff, that looks... So, uh, yeah, sort of the same pump as mine on my big air compressor here, but I think it's maybe a hair bit smaller. I think mine's more like a 30 CFM. So it's maybe one step down. The air compressor, of course, there too. That's actually a pretty good price for that. 800 bucks for, what is it, an 11, 11 half CFM at 90 PSI with a max pressure of 135. That's not too bad. Air fitting stuff, air hose stuff. There's you get air right off your truck. We've seen that before too. I guess they get a bunch of these in. They have to put them in the sale flyer for probably a couple of months till you know they either get rid of them or they just liquidate them to someone else. Brush set stuff, and polisher stuff, little drill there. 14 piece uh, power nut driver bit set. Hey, that's kind of cool too. Electric oscillating tool kit. These are pretty handy too because you can put those in your drill and then put your sockets on them. I like them. I got a few sets of them. It's actually a pretty good price too for the long ones and the short ones. 
Electric Engraver. Nice. 29 piece impact driver bit set. <laughs> of course, there's 29 in there. Uh, some step drill stuff. Another drill. Not the same one. We just, maybe not. Cordless impact driver kit. Nice. 100 bucks. Some spraying, spraying stuff or spraying paint. Uh, maybe more ad stuff here. Oh, there we go. Mega Smasher. Magnifying glass. Oh, that's good. There's a nice little toolkit, all the different security bits and stuff that they're probably not supposed to sell. Like all these ones with like, they're hexed with like the hole in the middle for opening up different things. I think I've got a set of them too, actually. I got them. I'm like, eh, you never know when I'll need them. Don't think I've ever used it, but you know, for, if I think I paid like eight bucks for it when I, when I got it. It was dirt cheap. even come in the case too, so it's pretty much the same thing. Some crow's foot wrench stuff and some sockets. Ooh, that's quite a kit. Wow. For 30 bucks. Look at all the screwdrivers you get in here. All kinds of different ones and little bits and everything down here. Wow, that's pretty good. Probably not very good steel on them, but hard to say. Hollow punch set. Professional quick change ratcheting wire terminal. Oh, that's kind of neat. Hex bit socket sets. Circuit tester. Magnetic trays. Nice. Boy, that just looks dangerous. You're reefing on something with this end and it slips and you whoosh, yourself into it. Oh, man. I don't know why they're pointed. I guess it's for putting a, like a bar onto it or something. Maybe. I don't know. Never used one of them. Don't think I'd want to. <laughs> Some nice hammers. Five piece. Hammer set, nice for thirty-two ninety-nine. All kinds of good stuff here. Nice C clamps. Ultimate grade, ultimate grade screeding level. Well, that's kind of cool. As you level it up here and then you screed it down there. Hmm. There's some pliers, channel locks, channel locks. They're pretty good. Nice scraper blade. I don't actually have one of those for gas. I just have a regular scraper. I mean, it works pretty good. You don't need something with a huge long handle on it normally. I don't know what this stuff. Locking hubs. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Huh. High performance onboard 12 volt air compressor. Hey. Twin air compressor. Maximum 90 PSI steel construction mounts and stalls and vehicle for an instant source of a compressed air when off-roading or over landing. wonder what that would draw for power. 150 PSI. Like, I got my little system in there, but it's not super fast. Quarter nine, it doesn't, voltage rating 12. It doesn't say how many amps, so. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Some seat covers, looks like. Some Uga horns. Uga. Yeah, that's like that cylinder we looked at there with long bar thing for lifting engine stuff. Some ramps. I wonder if they got those weird camper things again that go, you know, they, they go up here and then they kind of hang way over here. It seems really odd looking to me. Storage stuff. Now, this is what I need, but it'd be a lot heavier. Steel, you store, steel, steel box. Well, the plastic one's more expensive. That's pretty bad. I don't really want that. Yeah, no, I don't think I want something like that. This is nice, though, with the, the things on it. It looks like this flips open at the front. I'd rather have a top lid one for putting my straps and stuff into, anyways. Speaking of straps, there we go. Some more straps. Two inch, 22 foot. Man, that's a little long. 13 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. Fairly beefy ones, too. Jeep top. Cables for your winches and stuff, and some hand winches. Pulley block, or snatch block, to call them. There's the E-Track stuff there. It's a little different than kind of what I'm used to. Only on page 61, just so you know. <laughs> LED lights, super huge light bars. Holy 50 inch. Man, what are you trying to light up, bud? My goodness. You're going to give yourself a retina burns with that thing. Some more lights and stuff. There's the towing lights. 
and uh, towing hooks. Everybody can be a tow truck driver. There's the E-Track stuff. And these things clip into them, right? Like these things clip into the tracks here. A little different. I, I don't know. I never tried one myself, but. More Eclipse stuff. 15 bucks for these are pretty handy too for towing stuff on a trailer. Plugs for your trailers. Cords for your trailers. Wow. Well, that's kind of neat. Then do a three. Hmm. Very good. Actually, it'd be good to get one of these just for the wire, and you could use it for other things, you know. This should have uh, four wire in them, I would think. Yeah, there'd be two powers. Would there be two powers in these? Uh, what is that? One, two, three. No, there'd be only one power, a ground, and then uh, a white. Uh, this one would be four wire. Two powers, white, and a ground. Yeah. So that would be 180 bucks. Still probably, that's pretty thick cable, too. That's um, probably not going to tell me. Uh, 50 amp phase three. I don't think that's right. Number of wires, four. Yeah. 50 amp mail range. So, oh, yeah. So it's a hmm, 6 3 and 8 1. I think it means a three gauge wire. I'm not really, I'm not really too sure. I'm not an electrician, so you'd have to look at it and see. There's all more plugs and more plugs and converting this to that and going here to there and are these two not the exact same? C is thirty amp to fifty amp. Fifty amp to thirty amp. That's just same thing. I'm looking at the picture. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. These are different for sure. I can understand that. It's your regular 110 into whatever your trailer needs. I've got one of these. It's a little small plug like, well, like one of these or so. But that's, I don't know. Same price, same thing. Is it a different number? I think they've got the wrong picture up there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at the engines. Power fist. These aren't too bad of engines, except they're, they're hoses. That one especially, the, the air hose there. And the uh, fuel line right there are just garbage hoses. Just terrible stuff. The ethanol, I guess, rots them out. I don't know what it does, but they go super hard, and then they're just, they're just garbage. But anyways, uh, good engines other than that. They do run pretty good, but just some things they need to upgrade a little bit on. That's kind of cool. Uh, gas earth auger power head. Two cycle gas earth auger. Log splitters, little electric chainsaws. More log splitters. Look at this thing, eh? Cutting big ones into four. Extension pole attachment used with multi equipment power head. Oh, I see for these kind of things. Yeah, so you could extend them out a little bit. I got you. Got you now. Pressure washer stuff. Motors. Hey, now. That's the tamper we just got. And now it's on sale. Really? Maybe I can get money back. Sometimes they'll do that. They'll give you a rebate on it because it's on sale. I think within a certain amount of time, they'll maybe do that. I'll have to maybe ask them that when I get down there. Gasoline hammer drill breaker. That's kind of cool. Little mini gens. Centrifugal clutches. Generator. It's actually a pretty good generator. 8750 watt. Nice. 2199 for 15,000 watt. It's 12.5 continuous, but peak of 15,000. So something starts up. Pretty good. Wakefield anti wear hydraulic oil. Some cylinders. Universal ATV Expedition Steel Plow Kit. That's pretty cool. Looks like some hydraulic fittings, quick fittings and stuff. Yeah, hydraulic fittings. Look, it says it right there. Hydraulic fittings. Parker, they make a lot of stuff. Pretty good stuff, too. Pressure washer abrasive blasting kit. That's neat. Hoses and stuff. 
pressure washer hoses. Ooh, hydraulic stuff. Nothing like hydraulics. Where would we be today without hydraulics? My goodness. I have no idea. There's a shop press brake attachment. Very nice. Some English wheels. Welding stuff. Regulators and stuff. Plasma cutter. Oh, nice. I think it's still cheaper than what I paid for mine. And it's been a pretty good machine. Some more welding stuff. I'm not really going to go into a whole lot of details on that. Welding tabletop. True blue pro digital blue lens. Stick welders, soldering iron station, chop saw wheels, mega smasher. So look at this thing here, eh? Wow, we that's a big belt on there. Holy smokes. How many years are they gonna sell the belt for this though? Maybe they're a generic size. You could probably get them other places, maybe. Welding cable crimper with interchangeable dies. Serp. Surplus, surplus, surplus. What do they got in surplus? I mean, those are still fairly expensive. Surplus, surplus, surplus. More Muskoka dinner jackets. Muskoka is a cottage country north of us here. Kind of used to be in the middle of nowhere. Now it's all city up there too now. But anyways, whatever. Surplus, surplus, super glue. Nice. Some camping stuff. All right. Security Wi-Fi camera. Hey, that's kind of cool. Down some blankets and stuff. Surplus. Refurbished uh, spotless steel compact refrigerator. So what's spotless part mean, I wonder? Digital scale. Stackable cups. Ceiling fan with light. Well, these are pretty good. $29.99. It's a little bit expensive for that still, though. You can get them on Amazon for quite a bit cheaper than that. I think I got like a pack of something like four of these, or uh, like I use it in my container. I think I got like a pack of four of them for like $60. Thought it wasn't too bad. Chargeable wireless mini keyboard. Some wires and stuff. Network cables. Batteries, flat screen, wall mount, TV, ooh, HD, uh, HD TV, outdoor antenna. can't believe they still broadcast that and you could pick that up with that. That's kind of cool. Wood colored remote, it's a universal remote, that's nice. Ten bucks is pretty cheap. All the battery stuff, now they're starting to get into it, oh boy. <laughs> battery chainsaw this, and oh. I don't know. They're relying a lot on these batteries and stuff. It's kind of the cards, the Teslas, all these tools. I don't know. It's a great idea, but it's just, I don't know. The battery goes crappy, and then what? Oh, it's 500 bucks for the new battery for this chainsaw. Well, you'll just buy a whole new one for 600 So then you throw that one in the garbage. like, ah, stupid. Oh, that says 29 millimeter, doesn't it? It sure does. Ah, of course it does. Some more surplus. What the heck is this rubber? Oh, dog toy. Ha! Okay, I actually got uh, Paisley, our dog, an actual wheelbarrow tire. She loves it. Kicks and throws it around and chews at it. And She's got strong jaws on her, so you need something fairly beefy for her. So, Wall chargers. Type-C multi-port adapter. Oh, cool. Stainless steel folding hand shovel. A little trowel, we call them. Rev up the savings. Oh, we're on page 94. We must be almost near the end here. And, yep, we are at the end there. <laughs> I called that one, didn't I? Well, there wasn't a whole lot, a whole lot in there I want to get, but I think I might pop down for some brake cleaner at least here. What was it right there? That's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff, too. Works good. And uh, I think there was one other thing, too, but what else was there? 
I, 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 I think I took a picture. Oh yeah, that uh, oil pan, low profile oil pan. 200 bucks though, yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea, 64 liter. Yeah, page 30, let's just have a quick look at it again here. Page 30 over six, got a long way to go yet. Page 16, 20, we're too far now. No, 22, wow, we didn't get too far, did we? Quick flyer, page 30, now we went past it. Right there, there it is, oil pan. Yeah, that's not too bad. 199 bucks, 200 bucks. I'll have a look at one, see if they have one on display, but I think this is pretty handy too with the little pump thing here. You could pump the crap back out into a, you know, another bucket or something, whatever, and get rid of it or whatever, but mm, I'll think about that. But anyways, that is your two-week Princess Auto Sale flyer. Oh, get back here. And that is from September 13th to 25th of 2022. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.